Joining me now is Sky News host Corey Bernardi, fresh off of hosting Shari barely an hour ago, and Executive Director at the Menzies Research Centre, Nick Cater. Gents, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks, Caleb. Good to have you here again, Corey. Mate, we, we're working you to the bone. It's good to see. Now, let's get started with a report that uh, shows, in fact, electric vehicles are worse for the environment than petrol cars. Now, this will no doubt be ignored by all the Tiffany Teals who've run out and bought their electric vehicles to help the planet, as they claim. But this report from Mitsubishi shows that based on current energy consumption and sourcing, electric cars are worse for the environment in Australia than petrol cars. I mean, Corey, it's an inconvenient truth for all those eco-warriors who've rushed out and bought Teslas and God knows what else, isn't it? Oh, it's just another inconvenient truth. I mean, they want to ignore the fact that a lot of the, the raw materials that are necessary for their batteries, for example, are mined by child slaves in the Congo <laughs> for the cobalt, that the hideously expensive uh, costs of putting them together, the environmental cost, the running, ongoing running costs, we don't have enough electricity in this country as it stands. And the one thing that no one's really talking about, except, you know, here on Sky News, is about the disposal costs and dangers of these toxic batteries and mm. chemicals and solar panels and wind panels, they are the environmental disaster uh, of, of two decades' time. And uh, I can't believe we are stupidly rushing into this uh, all-electric vehicles in this country and net zero emissions. It's like a, a, the longest national suicide note that uh, you could ever produce. Well, Nick, the, the report does note that if more green energy is produced locally and globally, you know, electric cars could become cleaner. But I think Corey raises a good point there. I mean, in, in 10, 20 years' time, what are we going to do with these electric cars? I don't think you can replace the batteries in them. Yeah, there's a lot more to this than just the quality of the energy that goes in to charge the battery, Caleb. I mean, the, the fact is they've, they take... a uh, an awful lot of minerals to produce one battery, which weighs half, weighs half a tonne, incidentally. I was in Kalgoorlie in the summer, uh, which is now the Saudi Arabia of lith lithium-ion batteries because they've got just about every mineral required for uh, these batteries in the vicinity. And to see the, the trains going south to Esperance and across to Perth laden with truckload after truckload of dirt. <laughs> because this is a little known fact, but it takes about 250 tonnes of dirt to make one battery by the time you've, you've sipped it down and refined it. So it, it really is a lot of wishful thinking. And, and even if you look at, say, Volkswagen's own figures, you have to drive an electric vehicle an average of 100,000 100, kilometres before you're better off than just getting a, you know, getting a dual cab ute out of the, out of the showroom, diesel ute and driving that off. You know, they, they come with a massive carbon debt and I really think it's time that we had some reality creep into this debate.